OBS Studio is great. It's the software that I use for a lot of my day-to-day -day recording and have since pretty much nonstop since 2013. It can record your webcam, your desktop, your capture cards, it can let you live stream, it can do a lot of things. But as a hardcore daily user of the software for recording rather than streaming, I don't do a whole lot of streaming these days, there are some features that I have come to desire in the software that are not present. And while I've mentioned them and suggested them, you know, it's not something that's a priority for them to develop, but I wanted to get the discussion going of what you guys would like to see in OBS Studio by sharing seven things that I want to see in OBS Studio. Seven features, seven tools, seven ideas. Let's get started. Tired of hiding behind giant microphones during your live streams or videos? Say hello to the Mod Mic and the XLR Power Converter. This flexible, high-quality microphone attaches to your headphones and gives you the freedom you deserve. The XLR Power Converter makes it work with your existing professional audio setup for even more flexibility. Check it out with the link in the video description. I have them on my phone because I didn't script this video because I am awesome. Uh, but I, these are also in no particular order. I just wanted to get a discussion going. We're going to start with native HEVC support for recording. Now this has advantages for those who just want to record in the HEVC or high efficiency video codec, I think it stands for, in the first place, although there's a limited use for that. There's currently not, the reason that it's not really natively supported yet is there's no platforms that really let you stream HEVC to them. It's not a thing yet. So not gonna be a huge priority for them. I want it because NVIDIA HEVC can support higher than 4K resolutions, which would allow me uh, theoretically as long as my graphics card could keep up to do things like record both of my desktop screens side by side for a dual 4K view. That way I could switch between them as desired in editing, which is something I like doing at lower resolutions. Would love to do that here. It would let you record at 8K, do some upscaling tests, things like that, and we're starting to get to a point where that would be a useful feature. Along with that, I would love to see a dual encoder support because, you know, there's the discussion of recording, as I mentioned, your webcam and your screen separate or multiple screens side by side. I personally have a computer rig that is capable of running multiple encoders and handling the performance, and I would love to be able to record two separate streams as long as we could get some sort of time code sync between them to keep them in sync. A reason that this isn't regularly developed is because most people don't have computers that can handle it and it's easy to mess up. This was a feature in the original Elgato Game Capture HD software after a lot of updates, but it was really buggy. The webcam would get out of sync. It was recorded at a ridiculously lower resolution. You know, a lot of cuts made to make it happen for a general purpose use, which is an issue that would come up with OBS Studio. But for hardcore users, I see this being a pretty cool idea if it could be pulled off. An easy one, batch remuxing. At the moment, if you record a bunch of clips, you have to go one by one and remux. Now I have featured a tool called PyWin Context where I can select up to 15 files at once and use a right click menu to remux them all at once and it goes really, really quick and I'm probably sticking with that. But myself and many other people would love an ability to remux an entire folder or a lot of files all at once that are recorded with OBS from within OBS. So that would be cool. I would love to see 21 by 9 streaming. This is more of a bug report, but something that nobody seems to be able to figure out so far. I would love to see 21 by 9 streaming from OBS to YouTube actually work properly. If you were unaware, at least as of the last time I checked, this doesn't work right. It's supposed to work right. And, but it seems like NVIDIA GeForce Experience Share or NVIDIA Shadowplay seems to be like one of the only programs that can stream 21 by nine or ultra wide gameplay to YouTube and YouTube actually display it as a 21 by nine video. OBS, I believe XSplit, uh, you know, the other programs, they, YouTube, something in the flag of the way YouTube interprets it puts it in a 16 by nine frame. The VOD after the stream is over is 21 by nine, but the live stream view is not. It is incredibly bizarre, but I would love to see it fixed because I'd love to see more oddball resolution streaming done, which I have a guide for linked in the video description. I would love to see either the ability to record multiple audio tracks in uncompressed wave for those of us that want to do podcasts or interviews and want to be able to, you want a little resolution headroom to apply post-processing or just li compress later because recompressing compressed audio eventually artifacts it and if you apply a bunch of post-processing to a compressed audio it artifacts it. Some of us just like really high quality audio, okay? I would love to see that. Along with that, I was talking with some people in the OBS Discord. I would love to see a dedicated like 
audio mode for YouTube. Like there's, or for OBS rather. Like there's OBS, there's OBS Studio, there's the dual studio mode. I would love an audio mode, which gets rid of the video preview and only records audio. And then you can record a big multi-track wave recording. That would be pretty cool. I have found a minor workaround and that is in a separate OBS build called OBS multi-channel, which I have featured in a separate video coming soon or already out. Will be linked in the video description if it's available. If not, subscribe to check it out which will let you do that via the custom output FFmpeg, but it is a very gnarly workaround. It is not as easy as currently multi-track recording is in OBS Studio. I think given that OBS Studio is, you know, just a general broadcast studio platform, I think a lot of people might benefit from having a dedicated like podcasting mixer hub where this audio mode just focuses on the audio mixer and the audio tools. Like I feel like that would be a really cool mode for a lot of people. I would love to see more stats in the stats window and I would love to see it as a like a dedicated dockable element like most of the OBS UI at the moment is dockable and modular now but the stats window is still kind of floating on its own thing and this is something for a lot of purposes where I need to keep a direct eye on how many dropped frames or skipped frames or whatever are happening and I would love to be able to embed that and see a little bit more data in there. Lastly, but not leastly in the slightest, this is actually the most important thing that I am willing to pay for, I will pay, is a tool, a, 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 uh, a UI element, a stats window element, a tool within OBS that measures the incoming frame rate of a video capture device, a webcam, a capture card, anything, theoretically desktop capture if possible. I want a way to measure that incoming frame rate, not the OBS canvas frame rate, not the recording frame rate, the frame rate that is actually being pulled from the device. I'm not going to go into too many details because I want to save that for the videos, but this would have huge implications for what I could do for certain content coverage, and I would love to see it happen. And I know this is actually, I'm pretty sure this is possible because certain capture card software, like the native software for the capture card can already do this. And I'm pretty sure this is already integrated on OBS on the Mac version of OBS Studio. Like I'm pretty sure I saw that when I was tinkering around on my MacBook. So the code just kind of needs ported over. I would, uh, this would do a lot for me, especially if I could map it out, if I could benchmark it, if I could, you know, get, generate like a max median minimum frame rate thing, something like that, that would be incredible. So there you have it. That was two, seven features or tools or things that I would like to see added into OBS Studio. Things that I would pay for. I realize it's a free open source software, but you know, these people need money and time to be able to do things. I would pay for some of these features, especially that last one. What would you like to see added into OBS Studio? I previously, I don't know if I ever released it, but I had generated a list of features like this, like last year. And most of those features wound up getting integrated into OBS 21 after my course came out. So that was pretty cool, but I would like to see some of this stuff. What would you like to see? Let's discuss in the comments below. Otherwise hit the like button. If you found this video enjoyable, subscribe for more tech education and tech content, things like that. Contribute on Patreon. I'm Vox. I'll see you next time.